guys, Rhonda here. On today's bow tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful bow using one ribbon. All right, guys, so let's get started. All right, so let's talk about the tools that we're going to need for this particular bow. You're going to need a bow maker. You can use the Rhonda's Creative Station or the Easy Bow Maker, whichever one that you have. You're going to need some scissors. You're also going to need a zip tie and you're going to need a pipe cleaner. All right, guys, let's get started on the project. All right, guys, so I use this four inch red and white polka dot ribbon. So what you wanna do when you're first starting off, you wanna get as much ribbon off of the spool as possible. That way you won't have trouble making your loops. This is a brand new spool of ribbon, so I am cutting the part that was folded. I'm cutting that part off. So what you're gonna do first is you're going to measure your tail, and I did this tail at seven inches. Once you measure your ribbon at seven inches, you're gonna take it down in between the pegs and you're going to turn it. You're gonna have the tail end pretty side up and the part that you're going to fold over, which is going to be your loop, you're going to have ugly side up. All right, so I'm going to do these six and a half inches on each side. I'm just placing my hand there, it's six and a half. And then once I get my placement and it's the length that I want it to be, I put it inside and I turn the ribbon up to ugly side up. All right, again, on the other side, I'm going to measure six and a half. And once I get that measurement right, I'll put the ribbon in between the pegs and turn up again because I am making another loop. I'll go in then and take the loops that I've already made, I'll move them up so that I am able to measure my other ones with the ruler on the board. I then go in and pull some more ribbon off of the spool and I'll measure again six and a half inches on both sides. So now that I am finished with my last loop, I am not going to turn my ribbon up. I'm actually going to leave it pretty side up and bring it to the top. All right, so I pull the ribbon up then, and I just kind of guesstimate what seven inches would be. But if you're just starting to make bows, go ahead and measure your seven inches out because you want your tails to be the same length. So what you see me doing here, I am just playing around with my loops, making sure that nothing is bunched up, making sure that my loops are popping so that I can put my next layer of the bow on. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm placing the ribbon inside. That is about three and a half inches on the tail. All right, so I'm making it that small because I actually don't want that part to be seen and I'm gonna actually cut that off. All right, I make a loop that is about four and a half inches. I then turn the ribbon up to the ugly side, and then I'm going to bring it back on the other side about four and a half inches again. And this time I'm going to leave a little bit of nothing, maybe about two inches worth of ribbon on there because I am gonna cut that off as well. All right guys, so now you wanna grab your zip tie and your pipe cleaner. You're gonna take your zip tie and you can put it on either side of the bow. You're gonna lift up on your bow, making sure that you pick up all of your ribbon, place the zip tie underneath, and then you're going to tie it. All right, so you do not wanna pull your zip tie totally closed. You wanna put it on, then lift your bow up, and then what you're going to do is you're going to fluff your bow. But before you do that, you're going to take the zip tie and bring the closed part to the back. And then you're going to fluff your bow. Here you're just making sure that everything looks good, everything is even, and you don't have anything that's out of place. Next, you're going to take the one tail that is um, to the front. You're going to take it and move that all the way to the back. You're going to just pull it in between the two loops that are on that side, okay? What you're doing here is you're just making sure that both of your tails are on the bottom of your bow, okay? All right, once you get that ribbon to the bottom of your bow, you're gonna pull your zip tie a little bit tighter, and then you're gonna check it again. I believe in checking your bow three and four times before you pull it tight, okay? So then you'll get your pipe cleaner and you'll place it through. If you're putting it on a grapevine, I would advise that you use another zip tie, but if you're gonna use this on a wreath, 
Um, or if you're selling it, you can just put both and your customer can choose which one that they want to use. Again, here you see me fluffing my bow, making sure everything looks good. And then I'm going to turn it to the back and I'm going to make sure that my zip tie is right in the back and I'm going to pull it tight. Now you see, once I pull it tight, you see how that bow pops. That's what I tell you guys all the time. Make sure if you're not using a zip tie that you're tying it really, really, really tight so that your bow will pop. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut those tails off. I do not show you in this video of me cutting the other tail that's underneath the loop, but you want to make sure that you cut the tails as close as you can. That zip tie is going to hold it real tight. It's not going to come apart. So you want to get the cut as close as you can so that people won't be able to see it. But you want to cut both tails that's on those top loops. You want to cut them off. Okay, here you see me dovetailing. The dovetail didn't look good to me, so I went in again and dovetailed again. Y'all don't be afraid to make your stuff look as perfect as possible, all right? If something doesn't look good or something is off, your cut is off, make sure to go in and cut it again. You want everything to look good. All right, so again, I'm sitting here, I'm fluffing, I'm making sure that everything is in place. You want your bows to look magical, y'all. So messing around with them, fluffing them, it's nothing wrong with it. You always want your bows to be on and popping, as I always say. All right, so we're gonna take another piece of the four inch ribbon, we're gonna cut it down the middle. So that piece that I'm cutting there is about eight inches. When you're cutting this piece to go in the center of your bow, you want it to be eight to 10 inches. Eight to 10 inches is good um, so that you'll know you have enough to tie it in the back neatly. All right, you wanna make sure that when you place your middle piece of your bow, that it looks good, it's centered. And again, y'all, I'm just a fluffing machine i just keep messing with my loops and this is something that i do all the time i want to make sure before i make anything permanent that it looks good all right so i'm going to take it there i'm going to tie it and then i'm going to put tie it into a knot All right, so once you get that tied on, again, I am fluffing the bow, y'all. I just want to make sure that everything is perfect or as perfect as possible. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful this bow is. This is a four inch one ribbon bow. I hope you guys are enjoying the Bowlicious Bow Series. This is our second bow, and I can't wait to make more bows for you. Before you go, please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and all of our social media, Rhonda's Creative Corner. And one more thing, guys, please share, share, share. Sharing is caring. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.